deep breath, friend. Slow exhale. Our last altar episode explored the practice of nomadic belonging, cultivating home within, a home space, tone, frequency, a spiritual and emotional ecosystem that travels with you, that you can return to, drop into, however life is unfolding. So let's create that now. Let's cultivate that. Deep breath. Hold for a moment at the top of the inhale. Release slowly, more slowly than you inhaled. At the bottom of your exhale, exhale again, that little bit of extra stale air at the bottom of your lungs that just stays there until we're intentional about exhaling it, like a sip in reverse. Exhale that little bit of extra. So let's try it again. Deep inhale, hold for a moment. Slow, exhale. And then the extra, the stagnant, the stale air, sip it out. Hold in this clear space for a moment. Then inhale again. A fresh slate, blank canvas, reset breath. As you attend to your breath, find a rhythm that slows and centers you. Maybe this rhythm of a pause at the top and the bottom of your breaths, or maybe your own that's more natural, but a little slower, a little more attentive. Call to heart a moment you felt so deeply at home. I hope a few of them come to heart. A moment you felt cozy, safe, cared for by someone else or by yourself. Drop in to that moment to the textures of it, the temperature of it, the smells of it. Maybe it was stepping into a homey space, maybe the most comfortable bed, the most trustworthy arms or chest you've ever been held in. Maybe a bath, maybe a shavasana you were able to completely release to. Maybe a moment you were held on a sand dune warmed by the sun. Maybe a moment of pause in a forest, rich with life. Call to heart, not just mind, call to heart a few of these moments that you have been so deeply at home and drop into them with the memory of every sense. Maybe one by one.
and begin to cultivate that moment in your own breath, your own body right now. Those feelings of home, that frequency of home. The frequency of soul and heart and body that's pure gratitude and wonder. Gratitude and wonder that persists in spite of or alongside any arguments against it, any loss, the gratitude and wonder that persists, that home frequency that runs underneath all of it. You might call it faith, you might call it hope, you might call it spirit's persistent divine conspiracy with you, you might call it stubborn curiosity. Let's just call it home. Let your body remember it. Remember itself. Re-knit itself together in this energetic matrix, this frequency of home. A few more breaths here. Cultivating this sense of nomadic belonging is about befriending change. Acknowledging that change is the only constant of our lives. But so is the spiritual interior entirely yours to cultivate. This interior state that pervades and extends beyond us in ways we can't measure or entirely know. The ways your own at-homeness in yourself can be radically hospitable to everyone you encounter, can affect the frequencies of every relationship, every exchange. So here, from this at-homeness, cultivating now in your breath, in your body, say hello. And welcome the changes that are going to come to you this week, the ways that you will feel decentered. And no, drop into this gravity point of your compass, this at homeness that is always yours to return to. We're listening to a magical song by the long haul, constantly reinventing befriending change artist Lori Anderson and medicinal vocalist Tenzin Choegyal called Heart Sutra Song from her new record Songs from the Bardo. A sutra is a Sanskrit word for a sacred poem, a kind of scripture. It's also the word for thread, for sewing, for weaving. Our first homes were woven things the matrix of our mother's wombs, the web of tissue and vessel and water that held us. The first shelters or nests woven of branches and leaves. The fort woven of sheets and bedspreads and imagination. With your breath now, weave a frequency of all the ways your body, your heart, Your spirit has known home. Drop the gravity point of your compass here. So the changes about to come your way can enrich and astonish and expand you, can call you heartward because your heart knows its way. few more breaths here to 
to anchor into the quality of attention and presence we want to bring to everything to come. Cultivate your home as we befriend change and alter together. Thanks for breathing with me, friends. I'm Nicole Moline, the host of Alter. For more heartward meditations and conversations, subscribe to Alter on Apple Podcasts. And if it inspires you, please rate and review it and share it with friends. This episode is brought to you by the Alter Envision Planner, a 90-day planner designed to guide you through five minutes of beautiful, soulful architecture, intention, and vision casting for your day, your week, your month, so you can dance between hustle and flow. You can find it and the show notes for this episode at NicoleMoline.com. The light in me bows to the light in you and the ways you're igniting the world as we alter together.